NBA championship game between Washington and Golden State. It is game two of the NBA championship, and Al Adels brings his Golden State Warriors to the sidelines. Less than 30 seconds, they lead Washington by a point. Everybody stay with their own men. If they come off a screen, switch it, and somebody get the man who switch, who sets the screen and go through. Now, on Janier, when the ball comes in, especially on quarter, everybody can converge on him because he dumps the ball out. If he makes a jump shot, let him beat us with it. Let's go to West on the one seed back door. Okay, call the one seat. And they go over oh, yeah. the play, you to this side, and we swing it to Mike, and you just go down the hole. So wait a minute. That's the one seat back door for West. They go over play it. If you ain't over play then we're going to run the red stuff, right? If you're over play it, run the regular one seat. That's it. Run the regular one seat. You got 23 seconds. If they're not over playing you. If he's over playing it, then we're going to West with it, or to uh, Mike with it. Looking for you going down the middle. Here we go. Last 23 seconds. You can watch the clock on the right-hand side. Kevin Porter inbounds to Chenier. They want to go back door to Unsell. They're not overplaying him at this point. Reardon is not there. Porter wheels comes back the other side. Unsell out high. He's not going to drop off. Chenier, there's the first alternative. They're going to go to Phil. Phil has the ball. Not much time left. Reardon on the other side. Mike is up firing. In and out. Hayes now with a rebound. Hayes back up. Not there. Johnson's got it. It's over. Golden State has done it again. They have beaten the Washington Bullets in the first two games of the NBA championship. Unbelievable. Give it all you got. Take your very best shot. And may the best team win. The time is now. The name of the game is action. They're on the floor. They're ready to score, so let the game begin. And let's see how the ball's going to bounce today. Welcome to NBA. Come on, enjoy the rest of the crowd. There's a lot of classic about from young way. NBA Championship Series, sponsored by the new Volkswagen Rabbit. Happy days are here again. The Miller Brewing Company, Brewers of Miller High Life. If you've got the time, we've got the beer. And by the STP Corporation, makers of STP oil treatment and other fine products for your car. A sellout crowd on hand at the Cow Palace in San Francisco for game three of the NBA championship series between the Golden State Warriors and the Washington Bullets. Good evening, everybody. I'm Brent Musburger, along with Oscar Robertson, and our friend here tonight is Tiny, the mascot of the Washington Bullets. And uh, Oscar, the amazing comeback kids have done it twice to the Bullets. What's wrong with Tiny's basketball team? Well, a couple of things. I think uh, one is the Big E has to get on track, and also Kevin Porter. And once these two players have been so important for them over the year, once they get on track, I think they're going to make a big difference. But this Golden State team is tough. What about some of the players on that team like Clifford Ray that haven't gotten much credit? Well, this is true. When you don't score a lot, I bet you don't get much credit in basketball. That guy's done a great job playing defense, keying on both Hayes and Porter, and also clocking up the middle on those great drives by Kevin Porter. Now, the injury situation, neither team has been too effective. I understand that Washington is in good shape for this game. Well, this is true, although that Jimmy Jones is out. I'm sure people knew about that. He's a big factor for them. He made that third guard. He made them tough in the backcourt. We can hear the noise level picking up in the background. The introduction of the players beginning. Here comes Charles Johnson. He will start at guard. Opposing coaches, Al Adels on the left-hand side, Casey Jones on the right, and our starting lineups. No change since game one, which was played last Sunday in Washington. 
But I tell you what, Brent, I think you're going to see Phil Smith right away. He's come on like gangbusters this year. And what can you say? You can't say too much about that young man. He's done an outstanding job. He's made them very secure in the backcourt. Take a look at some of the comparative statistics after two games. Shooting percentage fairly even. So are the free throw percentages. It is in rebounding where there has been a difference. In both games, Golden State holds a slight edge, Joe, and of course they have won both games. This is true, and you notice that in those games, Brent, you know, it seems that most of all the players that get into the game for Golden State tend to get their hands on a rebound or two. And this is team hustle, team uh, unity, and it's really paid off for them. Don Murphy wearing number six, preparing to throw the ball up to start game three. He's working with Jake O'Donnell, Manny Sokol, over there at the timer's table. He is the hey, alternate official in this game. Elvin Hayes will jump it against Clifford Ray. Underway at the Cow Palace. Unsell pulls it down. Intercepted Beer. Washington a mistake off the top. Beer tries to go in. Comes back out when the shot is not there. CJ takes the game's first shot. Won't go and Unsell has the first rebound. He has pulled down 16 rebounds and 20 rebounds in two games. Porter back in a hurry. Charles Johnson picks him up. Beard is watching Shadir. Porter on the right side. They give to Reardon. Bounce past the full Shadir at the left baseline. Three second line. Yeah, this is true. They took a little too much time. And a big game went on the basketball that offensive board. They felt they would take that shot outside, but he didn't. They got off. Three second call there. Beard holds up the play, which was given him by Coach Al Annals from the sideline. Shanir is checking in. Here is Johnson. Kevin Porter will watch him. They go to the rookie. Keith Wilkes. He puts a move on Hayes. They're battling an eighth. And there was a foul call. I'll tell you one. Clifford Ray. I'll tell you one thing, Ben, about that kid Keith Wilkes. His eyes really light up when he sees the big E. You know, I tell you, oh, the big E is a great leaper. He takes him one-on-one -on -one very effectively. Backcourt pressure applied immediately by Golden State. And this is one area where Golden State has done well against the Washington team. They, they made them play tough outside. Hayes is out high as Chenier goes into the left baseline, squeezes the trigger, not there, and Wilkes has a rebound. Off to Johnson, quickly to Rick Berry. Burden has a taxing job of watching Berry as Rick fires and hits. Back comes well, Kevin Porter. When that young man scores with this team, they really go, and the last game, he ate him up. Always knocked out of bounds by Johnson. Porter will throw it in bounds for the Bullets. Comes back to Wes Unsell. Clifford Ray, who's done such an outstanding defensive job, is on air. There's a mismatch, but there was a foul. Did you notice what Rick Ray did in that situation? Right. Right. The side of the court. He was all the way behind the big E. That means great team defense. He's done a super job on defense, and I don't think it's been said enough about it. The foul was on Beard against Elvin Hayes. In the mismatch, he tried to hold him up. Hayes with a shot. Out there, Chenier battles for the offensive board and saves it. Here is Reardon. Complete on Sell. Sell waits now. Still waiting for someone. Goes inside to Chenier. Out of bounds. Turnover. Well, that's two turnovers early. Golden State with the only points on the board. A Rick Berry field goal. Here looks down at Chenier. Comes around. Swings to the Berry side. Off the hoop. Unsell. Yanks down his second rebound. Reared across the timeline. At the board, Kevin Porter lost it. And it is Johnson coming back on the right side quickly for the Warriors. Both teams call. Chenier down. Here tries to get past Beard and there is a foul call. I know there's one thing you see early in this ball game so far, Ben. Washington's really trying to push the ball up the court. Something they didn't do that well in the last game. Two fouls already on Butch Beard. He has been in foul trouble throughout the playoffs. Ridden underneath against Barry. Can't get the shot, so Chenier takes it. Not there. Battle and it's Beard who pulls it down. Hayes comes up on him to take it away, and there is a foul on the Big E. We'll take a look at that again. Here it comes, comes to Biggie right here. Looks like he got the ball to me. You know, the Biggie was involved in that technical foul in the last game, Britt. That was the difference in the win. One point basketball game, 92 91. Here he has committed a backcourt foul, so Beard has one free throw coming. Three personals against the Warriors so far, one against Washington. 9.48 to go in the first quarter. Beard misses the second and unsell with his third rebound, and here is Kevin Porter. Unsell stays out 
run high. Elvin Hayes tries to get closer. Misses with a flat out shot and Wilkes now with still another rebound. All the way and he's got it. Yeah, that's another F the four defense by Washington. And Casey Jones is right to call a timeout and stop that. That let him drive right up to the foul line and take the jump shot. They should have stopped him way out high. Nine minutes and 23 seconds to go in the first quarter here in the Cow Palace. The Washington Bullets are looking for their first point. They have fallen behind the amazing Golden State Warriors five to nothing. About to buy a new automobile? Well, read this magazine first. Road and Track, featuring a nine-page comparison test of the nine super economy cars. What's the best one going? The Volkswagen Rabbit, the winner, and not by a hair. This car does it all. It's small, roomy, and fast, with nimble and responsive steering, ride, and handling. Well, it goes on and on. All the facts and figures you should know about. Road and Track magazine, with a rabbit story for intelligent adults. If you pick up your phone this weekend, for only 22 cents or less, you can dial any other state in the U.S. except Alaska or Hawaii. That's all it costs to call another state with our new weekend rate when you dial direct from your home or office. 22 cents or less for the first minute, only 16 cents or less for each additional minute. So go ahead, spend a few moments with your family or friends. Dial and save while weekend rates apply. Regardless of what happens in this game here in San Francisco tonight, there will be a game for Sunday afternoon on CBS. We'll start that at 2 p.m. Eastern time. You know, Coach Adams' last instruction before they broke from that huddle, put the pressure on them in the backcourt. And that's just what they're doing right now. Beard and Johnson will apply it. Ansel comes down to help out, and Clifford Ray comes right with him. They go to West. They have 10 seconds to get it across the line. Kevin Porter will do that against Johnson. Here is Reardon with Barry on him. Ray has Chenier. There's a switch. Unsell is left alone at the top of the circle. Chenier comes toward him and it holds up. They bounce it into Elvin Hayes who wants to turn on Wilkes. He's got it and he was fouled. Yeah, well, the big E turned that time. Gave a little pump with the head and got it in. I think Wilkes is going to have trouble with him if he gets let him set up that low down inside the lane there. He's got to get him out higher. Make him get out higher with the ball. Maybe take a dribble or move or some, something in a situation like that. Elvin Hayes with a three-point play. Puts Washington up on that board. They trail by two points. Nine minutes to go in the first quarter. Cal Palace game three, NBA championship. Beard goes to Wilkes. Hayes with a hand on a rookie. They come to Barry, who's all over the court. Looking for shooting room. Intercepted Hayes. Long to Porter. Beautiful catch by Kevin Porter. Great pass by the big E. Didn't look too good, but he got there. That's all that really matters. But now Beard comes back. Barry goes down toward the left corner. Reardon awaits him there. We are tied, and Unsell came over the top of Ray and committed his first foul. And that makes four fouls with him, Brent. Eight minutes and 13 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Johnson throws it in to Clifford Ray. They go back to Johnson, and here's Barry off the weave looking for the screen. And a foul call by Murphy. Yeah, number six. And Reardon, who was pushing away against Barry. The Washington defense has had a lot of trouble when Rick Barry swings behind a screen. Golden State has used the screen very effectively in the first two games, and at practice, Washington worked long and hard on that two days ago. What do they have to do in a situation like that to put pressure on the passers? Don't let them get in a situation where they can make easy passes like that. Pick them up at half court and put real hard pressure on them. Rick Berry has not missed a free throw against Washington. 18 in a row in the three games. Porter brings it up for the bullets. Two point warrior lead. Porter makes a move on the right side and Ray on the switch. Unsells all alone. By the time they go back to him, Ray was there on defense. Out of bounds, Washington. That is a play that the Bullets must pick up quicker than they have been. When Ray jumps out, they simply must get the ball to the center in that situation. There's Unsell. Yeah, good move that time. I guess they had a double switch off there on Chenier, and West got underneath to put it right in. Score is tied. Eight minutes to go in the first quarter. Beard down in the lane. Dishes off to Wilkes. The whistle was blown by Murphy. I'm talking about that play underneath the basket down there, Britt. You know, I'm surprised that Kevin Ford and West don't work that pick and roll a little better than that.
So that is the third foul against Butch Beard, which was just called underneath as Washington brings it back. So and Butch in foul trouble. Porter got off his feet, intercepted. Here comes Johnson on the lead pass. Very good hustle. Weird. Great block. Hayes. Rooks battles to save it. Shadir has it. And there is a foul by Murphy. Well, you saw the big A sprint that time. <laughs> Great defense right here. We'll see the action on the other end of the court. Right here by Steele by Rick Barry. Foul was Good called point. by Reardon, his second. Both teams now with four fouls in the first quarter. Deflected ball picked up by Ray Berry alone to the basket. A tremendous move away from the ball when Berry's man jumped off. Well, that That's was the Warriors up by two. It was a great move, but it was a deflected pass, and it went right to him. He ducked it in. Unsell out high with Ray. They come across the Reardon. Rook shanks it down for the Warriors. Golden State ducked it back into a zone that time, and Bill you know, Smith Washington didn't pick it. it up. Smith against Chenier. And the rookie who has come off the bench hits his first shot. Order battles and does save it. So the Warriors go quickly ahead by four. And I was said we cannot afford to fall behind in this game. We can't keep coming from way back. Unsell. Uh -huh. There you go. There. Well, that's one way to freeze uh, Clifford, keep him from sagging underneath, helping out on defense. And also hit a few of those jump shots. Two field goals for Ansel. Now Ray waits. Patiently goes to Perry, who again swings under, hits it. He was fouled again by Reardon. So Mike Reardon. Tremendous pass that time. I took it right. Rick just completely outclassed Reardon on that play there. And Nick Weatherspoon will be checking in for the bullets. Reardon goes to the bench with three fouls. Oh, uh, Reardon's got into foul trouble now. He has done the best job against Rick over the past year. But we'll see what Weatherspoon does against it. They go to Weatherspoon's side, then Porter swings back toward Elvin Hayes. Here is Weatherspoon who came out the other end, goes back to Porter. Now to Spoon, and O'Donnell has the whistle and the foul. What happened in that situation like that? Charlie Johnson just completely sagged back in the middle and clogged up the lane. Porter stand there. She gets the ball back to Porter. Let him hit some of those jump shots if he can. They got to make sure that defensive man cannot play off like that. Roam around free. Got to make him play somebody. Two fouls on Keith Wilkes. Hayes comes up to the line. Both teams are in that penalty situation. Washington trails still by four. As Hayes misses and Ray boards, here comes the rookie, Phil Smith. See how close the guards, that close uh, guards from Golden State get into the basket. Wilkes waits. They're taking hey. too much time to set up, and so he shoots it outside. Now, Darren Unsell yanks it down. Quickly to Weatherspoon. Yeah, he better give it to the guard. He does finally. Chenier, who passes to Elvin Hayes. Outside. Contact on the knee. The foul is on Mitch Weatherspoon. That is his first. First foul against Weatherspoon. We'll see that play again. Well, I tell you, from my angle, it looked like it was a bear hug and a, a shove and a little bump. What about Elvin? Hell, he can not push but three times much as Just don't get caught. Well, you're going to protect him, but damn. <laughs> So Rick Barry is still perfect in this championship series. He doesn't touch anything when he's on the money with these shots. A six-point Golden State lead as Rick Barry has poured in nine points. Six minutes to go, first quarter. Shadir gives to Hayes. Brooks has in. Adel shells out some defensive instructions. It is interesting that the road coach has his choice of ends, and tonight Casey Jones has elected to make Al Adels have his defense in front of him in the first half. Adels prefers it the other way, but it was Jones' choice. That became a factor in a very controversial game in Chicago in the Western Final when Rick Berry put a shot up that he should not have. Late in game two, some felt that Addo should have talked him out of it if he had made the right choice of what then to start the game. But Addo said, no, I want the defense in front of me. I do better there. They worked out all right for them because they won the series. 
So the Warriors bring it up, and it is Keith Wilkes across the timeline. Ray breaking to the basket. Wilkes did not see him in time. They go to Rick Barrett. He will set it up. So knocked away, and there was a foul call. And for Elvin Hayes, he has picked up his second. Barry's two free throws Tuesday night. Gave the Warriors that 92-91 margin, and here he is at the line again. And he's still hitting nothing but nets. Oh, he missed one. So he has missed, but he will have the penalty. Rick Barry is human after all. A six-point lead for the Warriors. This time, they have not fallen behind in the first quarter, as they have in their last five playoff victories. They go to Porter, who holds it up. Barry has Weatherspoon. He's got a fine defensive job. Johnson on the steal. Bill Smith bringing it up. Warriors playing very well here in the first quarter. Wilkes outside. In and out. Unsell with his sixth rebound. Outlet to Hayes. Out of the save. And Wilkes is there. Hayes. That's an alert ball that time. Uh, Biggie got it down. Defense got back there well, but he just took it away from them. Good outlet pass by Anselm. They're going to need a lot more of those where this, where this team is playing right now. They're really playing tough. They come to Rick Berry's side. Now Smith goes back toward Wilkes. Wilkes puts a move on Hayes. Rolls out oh. right-handed. Ray with a tap. Not there. And Wilkes at the offensive four. Could not make it. And finally, Shanier controls. He has Porter ahead of him. Berry back on defense. Blocked that time. But a good try by Porter. He tried to go in and get the foul, but Rick made a good, good defensive play. Turnovers so far. Washington five and Golden State only two. The Warriors playing extremely well. Witherspoon into Elvin Hayes. Ray has him. Johnson oh, the foul. The team. Ball is knocked out of bounds. Well, I think that was a foul that time. It looked like it to me. Warriors back with the ball. 4.28 to go in the first quarter for the Cow Palace. Here's Barry. That's his play, friend. He doesn't waste any time about shooting that basketball. He gets it popped in the hole. Will they play as well when they're ahead as they do when they're behind? That's the question of the Cow Palace here in game three. They double team the ball. They're all over the ball. They are doing a tremendous job on defense. Smith comes out with the save, but he may have stepped on the line. There was a whistle. He did, and the ball goes over to Washington. You know, so far, it looks to me like Coach Adams has done a super job right, getting on. his guys ready for this defensive game. They're all over the ball. They're out attacking, but this means Washington's not moving the ball around. Good defensive effort by Golden State. There's Hansel. Shadir was open momentarily. They couldn't get it to him. Porter goes left in, comes back with a pass. Stepped out of bounds, so it'll be a turnover. Yeah, now he's starting to talk to the official. Hey, this is a must game for them. Washington has turned it over eight times already in the first quarter. Smith brings it down for the Warriors. They lead it by six. They'll come the other way. There was an offensive foul call. Uh, well, look at that again. I think a lot of faking going on out here, I can tell you that. Three fouls against Keith Wilkes, so Al Adels will have to go to his bench. Derek Dickey will be in. Unsell. Back to Witherspoon. Spoon up over Wilkes. Not there. Wilkes with a rebound. Berry down court. Pass and a basket. Good play by Golden State. Rick Berry split off on Anso. He saw Witherspoon take the shot. He took right off and got a layup. 17 points for Rick Berry already. Quarter for the basket for Washington. Not there. Battle underneath, and it will be Porter who will control it and go back up shooting. Barry is open, and the pass was just a little bit away from him, and I think Rick feels he should have caught it and gone up for the yeah. score. Yeah, that ball was a little too straight, and could have been a little more loft to it, but it wasn't. But good trying away. He's out there. He's making Washington get back on defense. 
Watch this play here. Long pass down. Oh, this is the previous play. Rick does a good job getting out. Puts it right in. Hey, they're really moving out so far. The man, Clint Eastwood. The mountain, the Iger. The mission, the Iger sanction. A motion picture of intrigue and suspense. Co-starring George Kennedy. Doesn't bother you a bit that you've blown my cover, does it? Three men hold his lifeline. One is the assassin he's been sanctioned to kill. The Iger Sanction, rated R. Now playing at theaters and drive-ins everywhere. Fred and I have been partners for 16 years. Uh, he does the selling. I, I, I do the paperwork. There's only one problem. Fred. Okay, Fred, I have finally had it. You see this? It's a Xerox 3100 large document copier. At last, I can copy these big ledger sheets along with everything else, and you can have copies of your very own. Thank you. You'd think after 16 years he'd trust me. His own brother. Chiracco! Chiracco! Chiracco. A hot wind from the Sahara. Chiracco. A hot car from Volkswagen. As swift and powerful as the wind it's named after. Chiracco. With front wheel drive that handles like nothing you've ever driven before. And Chiracco gets about 38 miles per gallon on the highway. Chiracco. The hot one from Volkswagen. The Boston Celtics and the Phoenix Suns made a trade today. Boston sending Paul Westfall and two future second round draft choices to Phoenix in exchange for Charlie Scott. Oscar, what do you think about that transaction? Well, I think they're trying to uh, get a spot now that Don Chaney is going to the ABA. And maybe they felt that Westfall didn't play up to par in the playoffs. I don't really know. A lot of, a lot of teams make trades because they need, want to see different faces. But future will tell how, how it's going to turn out. Chenier takes the ball from Porter with 2.57 to go in the first quarter. 22-16, the Warriors lead Washington. Game three, NBA championship. Here's Unsell. Goes over to Elvin Hayes. Has Dickey on him. Spoon. Block. Perry brings it down. And here is Phil Smith. Hey, man. Well, Spoon made a big mistake. Should have taken the ball right after the basket. Instead of taking a dribble, pull, pulling away for the jump shot. Here is Phil Smith going to the basket. Dishes off to Derek Dickey. Dickey has been hitting at a 54% clip in this series. That's where you get back in the ball game. You come in and do something. Here with control. Here's Unsell out high. They go to Kevin Porter. Kevin Porter. Well, if he can continue to do that, Brent, they're going to have to play him some. But if he doesn't score, Tony Johnson can pull you back in and help out on the defense. Rebounding just about even. Golden State with 13, Washington with 12 so far. Here is Barry against Weatherspoon. Rick up firing. Not this time. And Unsell yanks down his seventh rebound. Weatherspoon to Porter. Kevin has a hot hand. That's a good play that time. Got it down to him. Back is Phil Smith. <laughs> Hayes gets a throw. Waits and here is Kevin Porter. Unsell gives off to Elvin Hayes. Hayes cut off by Dickey. Now he comes up. Loose ball. Johnson has it for the Warriors on the left side. Here is Rick Berry. Berry so far is in five of seven from the field. He has control. Witherspoon takes it away. Yes, he does. Now it is Elvin Hayes. 1.10 to go as Porter checks the clock. They trail by four points. Goes right side to switch off by Ray. So Unsell has Johnson. Now they go over the head to Barry. Here is Smith on the mistake and another turnover. And out Burnham and Hayes hits the boards. Out to Kevin Porter and it is Barry that flex it to Johnson. Here is Rick two on one. Barry to the basket. Dickey for the rebound. Hayes with control. Yeah, Big E did a great job that time playing a defense. <laughs> Those knocking gone on with no foul, but he did a great job. Rick hit the side. He missed it. And Derek Dick went up hard with the Big E, but he got it. Washington was sluggish down here a moment ago, and I'm 
this match. They could not take advantage of Johnson guarding Unsell. There is Hayes blocked by Ray. There is Dickey. Lead pass knocked away. Witherspoon. It is sloppy at both ends. Yes, it Porter is. Porter brings it down. Checks the clock. He's got 17 seconds. Oh! is there. And O'Donnell has the foul. It's an accident. Watch the Big E here. You know, in a situation like that, Brent, Ansel was wide open. If the Big E can sort of hesitate, get the ball down, Ansel will score uh, quite a few points. Porter comes to the line as Phil Smith picked up his second foul. Well, let's now trail it by three. Kevin Porter converts. He will have... 10 points, lead him at 9. Ray with a rebound, and here is Phil Smith back. He has 10 seconds. Smith's going all the way, comes out. Reverse layup, no good. And there's a jump ball. Hey, that's a good drive by Phil Smith. I think that's bad defense when a man can take the ball as a spectator there. That's our friend Tiny. Yes, How you doing, Tiny? A man can take the ball from one end of the floor and dribble all the way into the basket. It's bad defense. Woodbury pulls down the tap. Last five seconds. He wants Witherspoon. At the buzzer. Great shot by Rick, you know. Real good pressure shooting in a situation like that. The defense was all over him. He took his time. He waved him in away. Here he goes right here again. Waves him way up with a shot. And I tell you, if he can continue to score like that, Brent, Washington is going to be in for a lot of trouble. At State Farm, we've got a real simple system of handling our claims. First thing you do is contact your agent. He may ask you to drop by one of our driving claim service centers. Car is not drivable, we'll send one of our claims representatives to your car. But you know, in a lot of cases, we can handle it right here at the office. So if you have a claim with State Farm, it's going to be handled fast and it's going to be handled fair. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. He flies to faraway places, bringing last week's letters, yesterday's newspapers, and memories of home. Now comes Miller time. Time to head for the best tasting beer you can find. America's quality beer, Miller High Life. If you've got the time, we've got the beer, Miller B. If you've got the time, we've got the beer, Miller B. The NBA Championship Series will continue after this word from your local station. Killing an over-eager lover is one way of protecting a girl and a good way to tangle with Kojak, Sunday night on CBS. Announcing TWA's Super Sale. We've cut our fares as low as the government has allowed. In the U.S., me and McClan always fly on TWA. <laughs> In the day, TWA can save us adults 25%. At night, at 30%. Tikes under 12 can go for half fare, and we touch under 2 can go for free. Are you ready, clan? The all the way for TWA. TWA's Super Sale. For all the details, call your travel agent. Channel 2, New York. At the end of one quarter in game one, Golden State trailed Washington by 10. In game two, they trailed by nine. Here, they lead by five. A different story as you look at Jimmy Jones, who flew out to San Francisco yesterday to be with his team. He underwent surgery on his right knee, ligament damage repaired. Jimmy Jones confident he can come back and play next year. We have some lineup changes. Jeff Mullins in at guard for Golden State. George Johnson at center. He will jump against Elvin Hayes. Washington controls. It is Nick Weatherspoon giving to Kevin Porter. Porter goes to Elvin Hayes. Rick Berry had 19 points in the first quarter. Here is Chenier with a drive to the basket, but there was a whistle blown by Jake O'Donnell. Well, well, well. Outside, five, two. Oh, George Johnson has picked up a foul in a hurry. 
Talking to Bernie Bickerstaff, the assistant down in Washington about Phil in there. He probably won't get him to drive to the basket a lot more. That's a good jump shot. Got to go to hold, get on the line. Chenier and Smith was on him, and there was a whistle. Well, wow. Chenier scored 30 points for the Bullets in game two, and he took a tremendous physical beating in that game. They were all over him. And he was all over the floor. He also had 30 passes for that first game out here on Tuesday night. Phil Chenier grew up in this area, attended California, could not get that many tickets tonight. This is the hottest ticket in San Francisco. Everybody loves a winner. Smith with a reverse move on Chenier. Gets off to Johnson. So two Bay Area products. Chenier and Smith duel. Witherspoon steals off yeah. his hand, and Phil Smith has control. It's a move on, left baseline, passes off the play to the Wayers, Kevin Porter, and Barry is back. So they give to Elvin Hayes, who comes in. No doubt about that one. I think Rick had a notion to go up and block that, but look out, Rick. Dunk. Now it is a one-point basketball game. As the Bullets come right back early in the second quarter, and it was Jake O'Donnell who detected the foul. Four, his first foul of the game, and Charles Dudley, number 15, comes in, and Phil Smith goes out. Jeff Mullins and Dudley are now in. Now Adel's bench has performed so well. It's very tricky. It's one from outside. Yes. Dudley is all over Kevin Porter. That's why Al sent him in the game. He is hounding Kevin. <laughs> Now the Bullets have 12 seconds to get a play. Hey. Yeah, you got the Bullets. Oh, hey. They can work. The biggie has changed the strategy a little bit, Brent. He's gone outside some now. Here is Dudley taking it from Mullins and coming toward Derek Dickey. And he comes to Mullins. And there's the whistle. They'll come the other way. 20. Offensive foul. 40. Oh, that was on Derek Dickey then. So we've got a timeout. Washington going over to its bench. Talk to Casey Jones, Al Adels. Waits for the Warriors to come over to him. Yes. Oh, I see great wealth in your future. You do? I see much success with an innovative company. No kidding. I see tires. B.F. Goodrich Tires, a B.F. Goodrich dealership. Mine? Yes, yours. You'll be a respected businessman in your community, a leader. The blimp. Do you see me riding on the Goodrich blimp? Riding in what? The blimp. That'll be five bucks, turkey. B.F. Goodrich. We're the other guys. Remember? All over America, people are discovering the impact of Western Union's mailgram. Good morning, Mrs. Benton. Good morning, Art. Oh, a mailgram. Now, many mailgrams travel via satellite. To send a mailgram, call Western Union. Uh, Within yes. seconds, your message speeds to a post office near your addressee for delivery in the next business day's mail. You see? Yes, Alex, the kids arrived tonight. Oh, that's great. Mailgram, impact of a telegram at a fraction of the cost. Tomorrow and Sunday on CBS, the final two rounds of the Danny Thomas Memphis Classic. There is the leaderboard after the second round. John Mahaffey leading Gene Littler, Jack Nicholas, and Tom Weisskopf right there at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Tomorrow you'll see the third round on CBS. Yeah, this game is turned around just a little bit, although Golden State's still leading, but the defense by Washington has picked up quite a bit. They got to do this. They're down 2-0. They got to do something. They can't play the same way they've been playing. Porter is on the right wing, and look at Dudley hound him. Now Kevin comes into the lane, gets free for that little jump shot. Oh, this Philly had a good shot. It stood up and held right on the rim. If he can continue to work that pick successfully, I should say, that'll, that'll be helpful. Very uh, pass goes out of bounds. Dudley, hold on. No, I don't think it did hit him on the head either. Murphy ruling it hit Porter. Kevin can't believe it. Take a look at it again and see what happens. No, never. Mullins gets open and they burn Washington. Bad defense against the inbounds play. Use it when you come back from a situation like that where it's been a controversial play. You should work something like that and burn them real good. 
Porter tries to put Washington ahead again. There was a foul call. He's got it. Well, he goes in again. He is playing. Well, Josh Johnson's got to cover that center up like Clipper Ray was doing when he was in the ball game. You know, he's got to get back. He didn't get back far enough. And then Hustle's out too high. He can sacrifice his jump shot out there. Throw on South Dudley comes out dribbling with the ball. Now he holds up, gives it to George Johnson, quickly to Derek Dickey. And Derek Dickey sticks it in again. For a guy who has to say to shoot sometime, he's done very well shooting this game so far. Starting to trade the lead. Golden State ahead by one now. One South against Johnson, they go to Elvin Hayes. Double team Hayes up and firing. Oh, hey, hey, Washington lead. Tough shot. It's a big game for both teams. Dudley dribbles. Now it goes into the right corner, gives it off. And there was a blocking foul on Kevin Porter. We got one, zero, one. That is his first foul. He has fouled out of we'll one see that game again. and picked up five in a second. Hey, you're the same way. No, no. Give him room. At down the end, too. Johnson comes out from his center position, gives it back to Dudley. Wheels around the left side. Back outside to Rick Barry. Leonard Robinson will be checking in. Mullins. You know, I'll tell you, uh, it seems that if Hansel or Hayes don't get the rebound, other guys are not out there. Dudley picks up his second foul. Just a hand check, foul. Clint Haskins comes in the game, and Phil Chenier goes out, and the truck. Leonard Robinson, number 33, is out there. He'll work against Johnson as Wes Unsell gets a break. Haskins loses control and regains it. 8.28 to go in the first half. There's Hayes. Dickey pushing on him. Hayes up against the double team. There was a whistle call, and Hayes said, hold on. There was, should have been Dalton in down there also. I think it was off. I don't think the ball was the ball. I think it was coming down. You can look at it again. I'm the big Eagles word, but... No, it was short. Hayes has 13 points in the first half. He had a total of 15 in game two. You could almost feel that Elvin Hayes was going to come on with a vengeance in this game. Well, the trainer was telling me before that he's been going to bed so early, about 9, 30, 10 o'clock, getting up at 6, and this time change really has, has affected him. But he's had a chance to get some rest now. Come on. called on the loose ball foul after Hayes missed the penalty attempt. Washington not yet in the penalty. Only three in the second quarter. The score is tied at 34. 8.17 to go in the first half. Mullins hits Johnson who holds it up out high. Over to Mullins who is behind Barry and Johnson. Mullins slides right to Dudley with a pass. Dudley takes Porter, comes up right baseline. Dickey taps it back. Barry will control it for the Warriors. Yeah, they're not boxing out at all. They're boxing very poorly now. Pass gets away from Mullins coming inside. Jeff says, I was pushed. No whistle, no foul. Haskins comes to Porter. 7.54 to go. Dudley's still on Porter. Here's Elvin Hayes. He shoots up over Dickey. Now, Derek's got to get his hands up now. If the big A gets, he's a streak shooter. He gets hot, he can hit about seven, eight in a row. So Derek's got to get his hands up. Robinson at the other end. Barry with a pass to Johnson who had rolled to the hoop and there was a foul call. It is on Robinson and he has picked up two quick fouls. You know you talk a lot about fundamentals. Fundamentals that not only mean handling the basketball, it means being in position when a ball is shot, boxing your man out, just being where you can keep from getting fouled in situations like that. George Johnson obviously taking lessons from Rick Barry. Shoots his free throws underhanded. He learned well in that first one. Tied again. 
Now Porter on the left side. Charles Johnson will check back in for Golden State. Hayes, it's Witherspoon. Witherspoon movement, but hold on. O'Donnell had blown the whistle. Ball is on Rick Berry. That is so for Berry, that is his first personal. You know, play is slowing down a little bit right now. I think both teams are they get into the groove right now. Uh, they're starting to pick up keys on their offensive play. Jumping out, jump switching. Getting a little tougher out there to score. After a tremendous performance against Boston, Weatherspoon has had his problems against Golden State. Much of it can be attributed to Rick Barry's defense. He has a height advantage, which John Havlicek did not have for a time in that Boston series. Yes, he did. And I think that Rick plays well uh, on, on uh, especially Weatherspoon, who tries to post him a lot. He's got to get movement. Johnson back in, has Porter on him. Barry wants the ball. Johnson rolls that side, and O'Donnell has the call inside. It looks like a parade to the free throw line now. That one against Clint Haskins. Weatherspoon goes out. Wes Unsell has checked in. So Washington will have Robinson, Unsell, and Hayes up front with Chenier and Porter in the backcourt with 7.07 to go in the first half. For Golden State, Charles Johnson and George Johnson, Rick Berry, Jeff Mullins, and Bill Bridges. The veteran is checked in number 32. He did not practice two days ago because of an injured ankle. He is feeling much better today. Back against CJ. So they're bringing fresh troops in against Porter. Robinson gets off to him. The pass is inside to Hayes. Bridges will lean on Hayes for a while. Got the shot off. Mullins taps it back, but all blue jerseys to get it. Good hustle that time. Shows Porter. Robinson was a devastating shooter in practice two days ago. He couldn't miss. Porter rolls away from him. Over toward Hayes. Porter still with control. Unsell rolls to the basket. Blocked shot by George Johnson, who held his ground. A mistake, and here is Hayes. Picked up that errant pass. Misses, and George Johnson hits the boards. The outlet pass to Jeff Mullen. It's not pretty right now, but it's important. Here is Mullins with Porter leaning against him. They try to post him. Crafty veteran misses. Hayes saves it. Fakes an outlet pass. Yeah. And it was covered up, and so he gives it off to Chenier. He picked that ball that fast that time. About eight guys almost fell down. Unsold out far away from the basket. Gives to Chenier. Puts a move against Mullins. Johnson is there to time up. Good ball. Great play by Johnson. I tell you, Uncle was wide open on the basket. He's been so far. The Washington players are not picking him out. He's been sliding down a lot. They've been trying to go for the one-on-one -on -one shot, and it's been failing. And it is Al Adels and the Golden State Warriors who have a timeout from the capacity crowd here in the Cal Palace watching Game 3. A Mercury Monarch challenges a Mercedes-Benz in a test of handling and driving comfort. 50 owners of American cars did the driving and the judging over a broad range of driving conditions. Mercedes is a fine automobile. Still, based on eight tests of handling and driving comfort on American roads, 41 out of 50 rated Monarch's performance superior all around. And at less than half the price, Mercury Monarch is an outstanding value. <laughs> Gotcha. In an independent test, 39% of the men gotcha. nicked or cut themselves with their new razor blade. Gotcha. Tired of risking your skin to get a close shave? Get the Norelco VIP triple header. Get 18 rotary blades and three floating heads and nine closeness comfort settings. Get a shave so close, Norelco dares to match shaves with a blade. Just one thing you won't get. Gotcha. <laughs> All right, the Sports Spectacular Sunday afternoon on CBS, the Martin Luther King International Freedom Games. You'll see that tremendous performance by Philbert Bay of Tanzania, that 351 mile. There were four runners who all broke the four-minute barrier. Marty LaQuarrie chased by home, and of course, Marty trying to go back to Montreal, rounding into form. You'll see it Sunday on the CBS Sports Spectacular. Did you run a mile? In the Army, they chased me around. Some sergeant was on me all the way. <laughs> 
with the big boots. I don't understand by how he can go out on the lead and just continue to pour it on the way he does. He's a great, great athlete. Golden State has turned it over four times in the second quarter and Washington none. Washington playing much better. They come back to Shanir who takes a shot outside. Now the Warriors strategy is to go to Rick Barrett. Oh, Rick is wide open down there. They did pick him out. And they're going to go to Rick in the situation because they have land on him. They feel that Rick can beat him. So Johnson waits. Barry pops out on Robinson. Here's Mullins. Now they go to Barry. Shanir on the switch. Back to Mullins. Robinson watching him. So Barry has Shanir. Mullins drives. Puts it up. Offense calls. Derek O'Donnell. Well, it's, Jeff didn't like that call. I guess he tried to go to the basket a little too hard. and I didn't get to see that, that play very good myself. What's wrong? Did I get in your way? Hey, you got him away that time, Brent. <laughs> well, we're tied at 38. 5.20 to go in the first half. Here's Porter, waits for Shanir. Jeff Mullins has him, so CJ is watching Kevin Porter. In behind the unsell screen, misses. Bridges with a rebound. Yeah. Mullins lead pass to George Johnson. Uh, and not to knock that ball right in the basket. Good run by Johnson getting out like that. Melvin Hayes holding the ball. Now he puts it down. Then he passes off to Shanir on the left corner. Shanir comes back out. Shanir comes up. Johnson has it, but there is a whistle. And I'll tell you one thing. That ball is missed. Those guys from Golden State are really getting up and down that court for that break. And this is the key to this game. They've got to get up. And they're making them run. Foul was against Phil Shanir, his second of the game. Glenn Haskins has checked back in, and Shanir goes over to the bench. So it'll be Haskins and Porter in the Washington backcourt. 4.48 to go in the first half. C.J. on the dribble, working with the veteran Jeff Mullins to the backcourt. Bridges, George Johnson, Rick Barry up front for the Warriors. They want Barry. They're not getting it. Mullins fires. Leonard Robinson clears it down. Waits and goes to Kevin Porter. Washington can tie it here. They trail by a field goal. And they're going to set it up. You know, they got to get something going. they got to establish their offense. There he is on Robinson. Here's Russell Unsell. Shot clock inside, 10. Foul call by Murphy. 22. It was on Bridges then. You didn't see that, please. There you can see the veteran. Bridges coming out and committing the foul. He is playing in his 112. NBA playoff game. Obviously, he has more playoff experience than anyone in this series. And if he yanks down four rebounds tonight, he will pass Bob Pettit on the all-time playoff list as far as rebounds are concerned. That's why he sent out those practices yesterday, Brent. <laughs> All that playing time. You do get hurt some. Game is tied again. 4.13 to go in the first half. Bridges hits C.J. Porter watches him. Johnson and Kutcher. In and out, George Johnson at that offensive four. Bridges coming up, and finally Unsell takes it down, and here is Porter. Barry can't steal. Porter ahead to Leonard Robinson. But a move, comes up, and he was fouled. Uh, you know, he was fouled at that. He should have gone for the basket, you know. They got a foul. He got a chance of uh, three for two shots, but you don't know who's coming up behind you. Here he comes with this great pass. Good pass by the little man. Take it right on up right here. Because that George Johnson is really running on both ends of this court. He's playing the D, hustles back on the break. Robinson was shaken up. Came huh? back down, may have turned an ankle. That is the trainer, Bill Ford, out there looking at him. It is his left ankle. You go Bridges. You go Bridges, either goes Johnson. You go Bridges. What are you good? Good. Coach Casey Jones out there. Yeah. Jeffrey Don Murphy will hand the ball to Leonard Robinson. Tied at 40. 3.56 to go in the first half. A.C. Jones goes back toward the Bullets bench. Can you imagine facing Lynn Robinson and Lord Neal down at Tennessee State? We played there together. Thunder and lightning. Bounce around like a pinball if they catch you down there in that pivot area. C.J. brings it up for the Warriors. They need a field goal to tie. And Robinson is all over Rick Perry. He's doing a fine defensive job. They can't get the ball to him. Johnson fires it outside. George Johnson, tremendous underneath. Yes, sir. He's hitting that offensive board. 
Now they come up to Leonard Robinson. He has Barry on him, knocked away by Rick. Dallas ball. Well, they were, they were both pushing in that situation, I guess. They call it on Rick Barry. And for Barry, that is his second foul. Well, we see George here do, does a great job getting around us and laying the ball right in the basket. What are they booing about? Oh, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't think they felt real committed to that foul then. Robinson hits the free throws. One point lead for Washington. Five offensive rebounds already for George Johnson. They've got to seal him off at the Washington end. Barry up. So he finally squeezes the trigger against yes, Robinson. He did. And he gets one. Quarterback, we've got three minutes, and it is Haskins who is over on Mullins momentarily. Can't hit it, and Johnson clears a defensive rebound. Now it is CJ up. Barry and Bridges are on the right. Barry comes in behind him and shoots again. Not this time, and again, George Johnson came up, and he was fouled. Well, and for Ansel, that is his second again. foul. They're going to have to learn uh, eventually that George Johnson and Tipper Ray can get up, and they can get up with anybody. So you got to learn to box them out, Brent. Well, Casey Jones said that Golden State is hurting him at the offensive boards, and that is continuing. Indianapolis 500 is coming up on Sunday, and at halftime, we'll have a feature on that race. You'll hear from Bobby Unser, A.J. Foyt, and Gordon Johncock. They're all getting ready for the biggest race of the year on Sunday. We'll also hear from Sonny Hill at halftime. Find out what he thinks so far about the action. The game has been tied seven times, and the lead has changed hands 11 times. You know, I was talking to Coach Al Adams uh, the other day in the workout. He was saying he's been trying to convince George Johnson that players can make vital contributions to games other than this scoring. And if he continues to improve the way he has since the last I saw him early in the season, he's going to be tremendous. I mean, really tremendous. He has put Golden State ahead by three. Unsell just kind of a little bit passes off to Robinson. Ball knocked free. Yeah, he got fouled that time. Works against Kevin Porter, gives back to Rick Barry. Barry holds up the letter C. That is the play they will run. That's Johnson pick and roll. down high for the pick. No roll off of it. CJ from the corner. He just waited out there. There's a little pin down when Rick starts to the middle with that pick. A little pick in the corner, and CJ was there. A five-point warrior lead. Porter gives off to Haskins. Haskins goes back to Kevin Porter, puts a move on CJ, waits for Leonard Robinson. Porter keeps it, now comes back to Clint Haskins, inside to Robinson, loses control. Up comes CJ on the turnover. Moves past Kevin Porter at the two-minute mark. Waits for Jeff Mullins, who's all alone. Not this time, but Mullins has an offensive board. Back to CJ. Rick Berry at the top of the circle has Robinson on him. CJ slows it down. Good now smart. he comes to Berry. That's smart basketball in that situation. You see why it was smart? You see the guy to Ricky put it right in. Up by seven go the Warriors. Here's Porter inside of CJ. Trying to drive the left baseline. Comes back outside to Clint Haskins. Oh. Not this time. Battle on an eighth. George Johnson and Unsell were up high. George Johnson, his third personal. You see that again. We get... No, he got him. He pushed him a little bit. Some lineup changes for Washington and also for Golden State. That applause is for George Johnson, who's going to take a break. It means that Clifford Ray is back at center. But Phil Chenier has returned to the bullet lineup, and so has Mike Reardon. So with 1.16 to go in the first half, Washington has its five starters on the floor. Bridges and Mullins still on the floor for Al Adels. So he has Johnson, Ray, and Rick Berry from his starting lineup and two of his bench men. They lead by six points. 
50 to 44. Down toward one minute, CJ comes up baseline. He's spotting out this time. Way at the offensive board. Couldn't hit it. Unsell clears. Here's Chenier. Great pass to the rear. And he's going in the middle. Oh, good shot. Right here. Tough shot, but he got it in. Now it is a four-point lead, and we are down to the last 50 seconds of the first half. You know, Mullins comes into Ray, who sets high. They seem to do much better when they're running with the ball. With Barry rolls to the right, pass out of bounds. Here come the Bullets, a chance to move to within two points. 38 seconds. They cannot run the clock out. Kevin Porter on the right side. Reardon waits for his man. Porter slides by. Back to Shadir. Johnson, he came out on Chenier and clipped him. Chenier was left open momentarily. CJ was away from his man, Kevin Porter, and when he jumped out, he fouled Phil. That's true. He was left open for just a second bit, but you notice how quickly the defense has been reacting from Golden State. Even though the guy had a shot, they still run at you. They make you think about, about the situation out there. Make you think about the defense, and he missed his job. He gets a foul out of it. A two-point basketball game with 25 seconds to go. 19 on the 18 on the shot clock. That's the shot clock on the left hand side of your screen. A little hand checking. There is Barry. Unsell clears it down. They have seven seconds. Burden again in the middle. And CJ got a hand out of the shoulder up. And Rudin stepped on the end line. Uh, Cameron has got to be more fundamental coming down that break. He's got to stop a little higher on the line. You can't make the Vlado pass in there like that. you got to stop him higher. Three seconds to go. It is Barry. He must fire. He does. Uh, you know, I thought he was going to hit that one, too. He's hit everything else, I'll tell you. Rick Barry and the Golden State Warriors, who have surprised everyone by their performance so far in the NBA championship. And here in game three, they will go into the locker room, leading it by two points. State Warriors have an annual award named after Eddie Gottlieb. They give it to that player who demonstrates not only ability, but also leadership and character. Right now, at center court is the owner of the Golden State Warriors and a major personality in his own right here in the Bay Area, Franklin Muley. Not only does he own the Warriors, also has a part of the San Francisco Giants, also the San Francisco 49ers. There he is in his latest Sherlock Holmes hat, and he's going to make the presentation. All the uh, pioneers of NBA basketball, no one has made a greater contribution than Eddie Gottlieb as a player, a coach, and an owner of the Philadelphia Warriors. He has indeed been one of the pioneers of this league. So it's fitting that the Warriors have since they've been here in 62, have awarded this perpetual trophy. Well, we can't cut it in two, but uh, you'll get a replica of this uh, for each player to the player who's made the greatest contribution to the team each year. Last year, as you remember, our season ended rather abruptly, so we didn't have a chance to do it. So a little bit late for last year, I'd like to present this trophy, perpetual trophy, inscribed forever to Jeff Mullins. <laughs> and this year, who else, who else should get this trophy but Captain Rick Barry? Oh, Rick Barry. Picks up the Eddie Gottlieb trophy for this year, and what a job Oscar he has done. The turnover on this team this year, 50%. Six new members of the Golden State Warriors, and here they are battling for the championship. Lost Clyde Lee, lost Nate Thurman, lost Cassie Russell. No one gave them a chance. That's true. A lot of the national magazines really wrote them off early. It goes to show you what a team can do when they pull together. Rick has done a benefit. Rick 
quite a bit of an influence on some of the younger ball players, talking to them about different players and uh, how they would react to the defensive stress. And it's best fitting that he should get in a war like this. Now, you've been over talking to the two coaches. Yes, Casey I have. Uh, they got to say. You know, Casey felt that uh, they got to pick out Huntsville a little better because Ray is keying on uh, Big A and also on Porter wherever he goes and the defensive rebounds. Adams said he felt this team has played the worst first half in the tourney four, so right? far. Right. But thank God for his defense. So that's really pulled him through so far. And, of course, another tremendous performance by his bench. This time, George Johnson comes off and starts to dominate that offensive board. I'm very interested. They want to get the ball to Unsell. They've been saying that now for a couple of games. And I'm, I'm really wondering about Wes Unsell. You know, the strength factor. He has played so many minutes during the course of a season. He is such a tremendous performer, and yet they seem to be handling him so far. Well, they seem to be handling him, Brent, because I uh, said the players are not getting him the ball when he rolls to the basket. Whenever Clifford Ray goes over to block a shot by the big gate, he should pick out Unsell right away, and that'll cure him. You know, when any time a player switches off of you should make yourself a factor. Unsell has been doing that. Here are the halftime statistics. Field goal shooting. Washington with a slight edge at the free throw line. Golden State with a big edge. And rebounds, as we said, with Sunny Hill, of course. The Warriors are getting up there and clearing more than Washington. Turnovers fairly even. We take a look at the individual scoring. Elvin Hayes already has scored more points than he did in the second game here on Tuesday night. Rick Berry with a 25-point first half. We start the second half, and Berry has the tip. Knocked away and out of bounds. Jake O'Donnell with the call. And we'll so see. it is CJ. We'll toss it into Cliff Ray. Butch Beard is back on the floor. He picked up three quick fouls. Buried in the basket. Burns Reardon and doesn't hit it. How did he miss that? I don't know, but he did. Reardon hesitates. You know, waits to pass the ball to Porter. Warriors leading by a field goal. Here is Chenier. Tied. You know, you see that time they came down, Brent, they were patient and get them a basket. When they're not patient, they come down and rush things. They don't seem to be that successful. Which Baird gives off to Keith Wilkes. Wilkes will work against Elvin Hayes, right baseline, back underneath, pass outside to CJ. Now he passes to Butch Beard from the corner. Beard has been in a shooting slump here in the playoffs. Hayes to Chenier to Porter. Porter moves it across court from left to right. Yeah, Beard has been in sort of a slump, but he hasn't had to play that much, really. Reardon gives to Elvin Hayes. Hayes against Wilkes, drops it off to Chenier, off Chenier's hands, out of bounds. Here come the Warriors. Yeah, that was a difficult, it was a good intention by the Big E, but it was a difficult pass to handle. Ray is all alone. Just a mental letdown by West. A two-point lead again for the Warriors. Porter puts it in play. Cut off by Ray, comes back to Unsell, who moves it to Reardon. Not there, but Hayes is at the board. Finally cleared off by Ray, outlet pass Rick Berry. Berry on the left side, passes off to Butch Beard, it goes to CJ. Rolling right-handed shot, and Unsell yanks it down, it comes off to Kevin Porter. Hayes is ahead of him, Reardon's on the right. Porter deals in with a shot, and hits it. Oh, I think Ray wanted a charging foul that time by Porter, but he didn't get it. Kevin Porter has picked up only one personal so far in this game. Which bird brings it back at Phil Smith. Loosening up on the sideline as Keith Will squeezes one off. And it is Hayes who clears it. Porter may have an easy one if he can cut in on Barrett. Yes, he does. That's what Golden State was doing to Washington in the first half. Whenever that ball was shot and missed, they got down the court so fast. Wilkes gives to Butch Beard. Smith will be coming back in the game. Beard signals the play. Chenier works against him. Bounce pass into Clifford Ray. Ray holds it up. Doesn't look for the shot. Gives to Wilkes and drives on Hayes, but hold on, says Jake O'Donnell. It's on Reard, who is holding up on Barrett. Time out. We got a timeout here early in the third quarter, though. Yeah, Super Sub is in the game now, number 20, Phil Smith, and he should generate quite a bit of action out there because he can really take it to him. A poem to my Converse All-Star basketball shoes. <clears throat> You're the greatest, and that's no jive. You'll stand at equipment on the B Street Five. As I fly through the air doing my famous slam dunk, I'm flying first class, and that ain't no bunk. My shoes will be wearing the Converse name till they bronze my feet for the Hall of Fame. Converse All-Stars, limousines for the feet. You got to Converse All-Stars. 
What's America's best-selling small luxury car? What? Ford Mustang II. It outsells Monza, Skyhawk, Starfire. It outsells all of them put together. Know why? Why? Value. Oh. Mustang II's base sticker price includes steel-belted radials, four-speed floor shift, rack and pinion steering, and more. Wow. And Ford Mustang sticker price starts below competition, including Chevy's Monza Town Coupe. Hey, America. We didn't know that. Ford means value, and your Ford dealer can show you. The CBS Tennis Classic returns beginning June 1st, 13 weeks with an elimination tournament involving 16 of the world's top men players. For a summer full of exciting tennis action, watch the CBS Tennis Classic beginning on June 1st. Right now, we've got the exciting NBA Championship Series. Game four will be coming up on CBS Sunday afternoon from Landover, Maryland. This is true, bro. You know, in this game right now, they got the, you know, Washington's got to establish themselves right away. They're down 2-0. So it's up to them to really take it to Golden State. But Golden State's playing good. You know, Adams is right. The team didn't play very well offensively in the first half. The defense kept them in the ball game. Smith and Beard will work together in the backcourt. Charles Johnson goes out. They'll bury Wilkes and Ray up front. Here's Beard taking it back from Ray, coming over to the right side, bringing Kevin Porter with him. They come into Ray, who waits to pass it off. He's back to Smith. to use the screen on the weave. It is Barry rolling to the hoop. He sort of tossed it up, and he was fouled. The foul is on Kevin Porter. So for Kevin Porter, his second foul of the game. Well, it puts Rick Barry on the free throw line with two shots. He gets the first one. That is 10 of 11 for Rick Barry. And 11 of 12, and here comes Porter. So Weatherspoon and Hayes are the Washington forwards on the center. Chenier and Porter in the backcourt. Porter slides underneath and out pops back out. On Selt swings Hayes. They try to go Weatherspoon. Good defense. Brooks Hayes comes up inside of it. Yeah, Brooks has to stay down a little bit. Uh, I think the Big E's got his timing down on that jump by Keith Brooks, and he just goes right back up again and puts it in. Washington leading again by two points. They swing to Barry over on the left side. Beard is released underneath. Ball is knocked away. Good hands by Weatherspoon there. This Wilkes comes up on a short. Unself yeah. controls it and loses the ball out of bounds. The defensive rebound is so important for Washington. They've got to get it up and get it down the court. They're down 2 0. The Warriors burned him on an inbounds play in the first half. They tried again, but Wilkes was guarded well by Hayes, so they come back into the corner to Beard. It comes through the lane with a pass to Smith. It puts a move on Chenier, and it's there. Hey, you see that? Great move, great move. Hey, he's a what tremendous a play. player. Here he goes again. The fake. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, all the way. I talked to Bob Ferrick about why Phil Smith lasted until the second round. He said they used the Alan Jones against San Francisco. Didn't show his skills that well as a senior. Smith has the ball back in the corner, comes out to Keith Wilkes. Wilkes now to Rick Barry. Well, he's still watching in. Barry wants to make a move and squeeze it. Warriors back ahead by him. They're playing tough ball now. Kevin Porter brings it down for the Bullets. They need a basket to tie it. They wheel the Witherspoon. Barry giving him a lot of room. Knocks it away. Witherspoon regains it. Now, it's five on four. Unself to the left corner. Off the other side, yeah. there was a foul call on the loose ball. <laughs> foul of Porter. And suddenly he has the ball over. No rep. No team fouls on the Bullets. That's going to hurt. On the Warriors. 7.59 to go in the third. Here's Smith again against Chenier. Barry in that left corner. Not there, and it is Hayes. Long pass. It's going to be too far ahead of Weatherspoon and out of bounds. Yeah. Not a good pass. No, it wasn't, but I think he kind of gave up on that pass, Brent. Maybe he could have saved it. Maybe he couldn't. You'll never know now. Smith brings it up on it. He's working with Barry. Chenier's got to watch him. Witherspoon out on Barry. They go up to Beard. Comes through to Wilkes. Chenier on the switch has him. Whoops inside. That's the way you work a basketball. You go, swing the ball around, find an open man, get it in. Warriors go up by four points. 
crowd starting to pick up enthusiasm. Here comes the Witherspoon. Barry knocks it away on the steal. Here come the Warriors again. Blacked out of bounds by Shanira. It'll be the Warriors' ball. And yeah, we're going to see Lynn Robinson into this ball game in just a moment here. Great steal by Rick again. Good defensive work. Which Spirit signals the play from behind the end line. They burn him again, and it's Barry. And Robinson had just checked in, and they picked on him immediately. A six-point lead. It's just the second time this happened. But the man who guards the man taking the ball out of bounds has got to make him work with the ball. Chenier's back. Now the Warriors can run a spurt. Beard brings it down. They can go up by eight. Beard bounces back to Barry. Barry drives, and there was a foul ball by O'Donnell. No basket. Timeout, Warriors. The Warriors have called timeout. Foul is against Leonard Robinson, who is pushing against Barry. He just drive again. That's a foul right there. Part of the capacity crowd here in the Cow Palace. They love it right now. Monday, the first time I rode my Kawasaki to work, and in a way, well, something came over me. It's kind of hard to explain, but I was feeling so good about riding my bike, and I started feeling bad about going to work. So, I didn't. Kawasaki lets the good times roll, let the good times roll. As an old offensive end, I usually don't have much use for running backs. But I've got to admit, Matthew was right when he told me about light beer from Miller. It is less filling because it has less carbohydrates and a third less calories than their regular beer. And it really tastes great. In fact, after I teach this guy a lesson, I'm going to have another bottle. <clears throat> light beer from Miller. Everything you always wanted in a beer and less. Well, you would think, listening to this crowd, that some 50,000 were cheering a gold medal performance by the United States, but instead it's 13,000 at the Cow Palace. But that reminds me, we want to send our best athletes to the Olympics next year. You can help by sending a contribution to that address on your screen. You talk about a team getting hot, gaining momentum. The offense of Golden State struggled a little bit in the first half, but they've come back out here now. They've been smooth as a clock. And with 6.44 to go in the third, they lead it by six. And with Barry at the line, you should really hold up until he shoots his free throw. But he has missed two here tonight. But seldom, if ever, misses two in a row. Down the right flank for the Bullets. It's a seven-point deficit they face right now. Unseld is up high. He has Ray on him. Porter comes to Unseld. They come right back to Kevin Porter. Unseld. Not there. Out of bounds, and a Washington player touched it last. No, hold on. Murphy's changing the call. It'll go to Leonard Robinson. You get a top view from this. See this action coming up here right now. Chenier. Oh, Daylight yes. inside. Robinson blocked away by Ray, but that may be golden. Yeah, it is. You see the way he got that ball that eight feet. He shot Rick across the lane. Five-point Warrior lead as Barry brings it down. Goes to Bill Smith, who has Chenier on him. They come to Wilkes. Hayes is watching him. Unsell has dropped off in the middle of the and has a foul. Three-second violation. Which Beard was down there underneath with Kevin Porter trying to post him, and they caught him on the violation. Porter at the right side. They trail it by five. 6.03 to go in the third quarter of the Cal Palace. Bill Chenier swings left Elvin Hayes. Looks on him. They come now to Chenier, who rolls over to the right corner. Warrior defense has been the story of the series. Unsell, double team. They get it off to Chenier. Ray was there. Can't hit it, and Beard clears. And they're off and running. Bush Beard brings it right down the middle. At the free throw line, cut off by Porter. Now he waits, and it is Wilkes over the right side. Looks for the head fake. Hayes, Hayes, let him, so he comes up to it. Now he's tough. He's a lot tougher than he looks, isn't he, Brent? 
He is so smooth, you don't notice him sometimes. Oh, and then he'll come up with a clutch shot. Bounce pass, Elvin Hayes. Looks is right there. They go back to the rookie, Leonard Robinson. Can't drill it. Beard yanks it down. Bad pass. Yeah, it was a bad pass at Diamond. They've been playing very well. Uh, that was a good indication. They're still trying to get out. Vic was down the court. Seven point Warrior lead as Chenier brings it up. 5 10 left, third quarter. Unsell sets the play up high. Goes back over to Chenier. Porter pops out for the shot. Not there, and Wilkes closes it down. The Bullets are getting one shot at their end. Here comes Butch Beard. He'll slow the tempo down. They can go up by nine. Knocked out of bounds by Shadir. Ball belongs to the Warriors. I guess this is the longest time Beard has put into any of these uh, playoff games, I believe. Well, Adams would like Butch Beard to break out of it. He still can't hold it. Adams complaining a bit to O'Donnell. That time Wilkes was cut off by Unsell, so Keith comes back outside. And then he hits the offensive board. Something the Warriors are doing much better, and this is the second time. And Leonard Robinson finally clears. Yeah, I guess Washington is you know, working right now on their offensive end of the situation. They should be breaking down the court, but they're not. Robinson and Chenier play catch, and here is Hayes, double team. Still comes up firing and hits it. Now a five-point Warrior lead. Bill Smith on the right side. Barry comes across behind the circle. Has the ball. Switch off. Unsell has Barry. Barry drives in. Passes behind. Smith is all alone. Oh, oh yeah. A seven-point Golden State lead. 356 at the third quarter mark. And the defense is getting tough. And Ray comes out on the steal. Golden State is starting to burn. Yes, they are. I'm telling you, they're playing some good ball now. And doing it on the defense. On the right corner. Beard forces him to come into the lane. Unsell set the pick, and there was a foul. It's against Bush Beard, who ran in Unsell. West was stationary as he set that pick. First team foul against the Warriors. That's how well they've played this quarter. Led by two, they've gone up by nine. 335 to go in the third. Robinson with the ball against Rick Berry. Chenier down, now back up. Unsell to Hayes. Wilkes has him. Hayes inside him. They may have to come back to Derek Dickey for a little defensive work against Elvin. It is a seven-point lead. I don't know because he's putting a lot of pressure on the Big E down when he gets the ball. And it was Leonard Robinson coming out on Barry on the steal. Good back Robinson for the basket. Good steal that time. Very quickly, the bullets have bounced back. Now they trail it by five. Beard working against Clint Haskins, who's checked in. Kevin Porter on the sideline. Barry insisting he was fouled. None called. Barry has the ball. Now there's a whistle by Jake O'Donnell. A foul. And it's on Leonard Robinson. His fourth foul. Timeout. Look at this again. Yeah, here goes the big clip. Just take it easy, strides right in. Yam. So the big man made like a guard. Came out there, stole the ball, and rammed it in. the lowest base sticker priced American small car is? Ford Pinto! <laughs> and what's America's best-selling small car line? Ford Pinto. You know why? Value. Pinto's low price includes four-speed transmission, rack and pinion steering, solid state ignition. And still it's priced less than Vega or Beetle and $555 less than a VW Rabbit. Very interesting. I didn't know that. Ford means value. The decision of this court, you are guilty as charged. This man is in prison for a crime he didn't commit. Only this man knows why. This woman wants her husband set free. Only this man can do it. Charles Bronson, Robert Duvall, Jill Ireland, John Houston, break out. The incredible story of the impossible escape. Break out. Now playing. Check newspaper for a theater near you. Rated PG. 
Many pool owners think you have to be a scientist to keep pool water clean. Not true. It's easy if you use HTH dry chlorine. Use as recommended, you get sparkling water without buying extras like algicides, shock treatment products. One drum can last all season. Easy, economical. We use HTH, and I'm no scientist. HTH, the easy way to more sparkling water. From Olin. Talking about the Warrior defense, in their last five playoff games, they have allowed an average of only 85.2 points and out eight. They have been sensational on defense. Yes, they have, and they've been very tough underneath the basket. Uh, they pressure the guards, but those guards, when the ball is passed into the forward of the pivot, they drop off very, very quickly to help out. At the line, Al Addles called the offensive play. When the Warriors come back down on the attack, they will try to set a double screen for Rick Barry. You can watch it. Beard is supposed to handle the ball. Clifford Ray is supposed to set the second pick. We'll see what happens. Right now, the Bullets have it. They plan it by seven points, 71-64. Hayes with the ball. Gives off to Leonard Robinson. Tommy Kozelka going to check in inside Elvin Hayes. They want Hayes. There is a whistle. And so Washington will shoot his first free throws of this quarter. He wants the big E right here. He just simply goes up as high as he can. Oh, foul right in the hand, right after he shot. But it's a foul. Not a very hard foul, I might say. Wes Unsell goes out for a rest. And so does Clem Haskins. Tommy Kozelko is back in, and Kevin Porter has returned. I should say Kozelko's on the floor for the first time. Now, Butch Beard is handling the ball. Remember, they want Barry to shoot it. They're gonna try to set him a screen. Yeah. All right, Beard against Porter. All right, comes out. It's disrupted, and Smith is all alone. So the original play was not there, and the secondary man was wide open, and the Warriors hit him right now. It's been that kind of performance by Golden State. They have freelanced so well when things have been clogged up. Shanier waits. Here is Leonard Robinson working against Barry. Porter wants it. Butch Beard is there. Here is Phil Shanier. Shot clock down, and yeah. Shanier drills it. Almost out of time. But you know, I, I just tell you, you had situations like that where Phil Smith went back to on that previous place of Golden State to score. It's a matter of conversation by the players on defense. It is a six-point Warrior lead. Beard comes across and makes it eight. Well, it's going good for them now, I tell you. Order to the hoop to Hayes. Not there this time on the alley-oop. Smith wins it down left side. Here's Butch Beard. Beard over the left, holds it up, waits. Barry comes behind him, he comes in, and Smith didn't see it. Hayes has the ball. On to Porter, Barry's there, Barry deflects it out of bounds. Yeah, good run back by Rick. That ball was just simply in the air too long for Porter to catch because Rick ran out and knocked it out of bounds. See Rick right here, he takes off, jumps and knocks it away. 131 for the quarter. Here is Elvin Hayes with the ball. Not there, Wilkes yanks it down for the Warriors, gives off to Smith. They can go up by 10 if they can hit it here. Butch Beard, Rick Berry comes down, gets himself a little rest in this yep. situation. Here is Ray out high, looks for the pass, and there's a whistle underneath by Murphy. The foul is on Len Robinson. It's against Leonard Robinson. Robinson again, that is his fifth foul. And with Rick shooting two free throws, Brent, I think they will go up by 10. And Wes Unsell comes back. Looks like he's going to give Elvin Hayes a rest. Yes, he is. It will be. Now Weatherspoon comes on, so they will have Unsell, Weatherspoon, and Kozelko up front. They are going to go with Kozelko and Unsell together. Shanir Porter of the guards, and Witherspoon on the floor, too. No, Shanir having a tough night. Only two of nine from the field. Now Jerry Dickey checks in, and Keith Wilkes goes out. So Al Adels counters immediately by bringing Dickey off the bench as soon as he sees Kozelko and Unsell out there. Porter will bring it up right side. 107, 10 point lead by the Golden State Warriors. Unbelievable story in the NBA. Unsell holds it. Hold on, says Jake O'Donnell. 
You see the defense, how they split up on plays like that. Uh, they have some big guards and Butch Spirit and Bill Smith, so they can afford to switch out on those forwards. Doesn't hurt them at all to get them from 6 4 forward to guard. Guard that is to guard any forward out in the corner. Four, that young man there plays side. Push the basketball for game. Rick Berry, who's going out for a break. He has played a great game so far. Shelko passes off Chenier. Phil Smith watches him. Phil has four fouls now. Give it off Chenier on selling tight. Well, also got that one in. 51 seconds for the quarter. And an eight-point Golden State lead. Here, brings it across the timeline. Signals the play. Porter's on him. Chenier has Smith. Unsell. Watching Ray. Witherspoon has Dickey. Here it comes over to Dickey's side. Take it away. Here comes Washington. Lead pass to Kozak. Goes breaking. Daylight and Phil Smith with a tremendous defensive effort. Knocked it out. Yeah, that's true. Good play. All will belong to the Bullets. Unsell comes in. Kozak goes right. out of bounds. He'll throw it in for him. They can move back to within six, but hold on. And that is foul number five on Phil Smith, and that's going to hurt the Warriors. You know, Brent, at three minutes and 35 seconds, they only had one team foul. Now they have five. They got him in a hurry. They are at the line with those three chances to make two. Pulls the bullets back to within seven points. Jeff Mullins will come in. And Smith will go out. So he sits down with those five fouls. Mullins and Beard will work in the backcourt. Chenier pulls the bullets to within six points. Mullins against pressure. 28 seconds, third quarter. Here's Beard across the time and eye for the Warriors. They're running the clock down. They cannot go to Rick Perry, but Jeff Mullins, if they can get him open, he can be deadly. Bear looks back, checks the clock. You can see it counting down on your screen on the right-hand side. Knocked away. They've got to hurry. Bridges has it. They've got to get it off. They do not. That's a violation, and the bullets have it. So they could not squeeze the trigger in 24 seconds. Now five seconds for Washington. Quick pass to Chenier. Chenier to Spoon intercepted Bridges. Oh. And that's the end of the quarter. Well, Spoon had it, Bridges had it, and Cazelco had it. And who knows after that? Well, the Washington Bullets find themselves with 12 minutes of regulation time to climb back into this NBA championship. You see the best in basketball. When you watch the NBA, when you watch the NBA on CBS. We are ready to start the final quarter at the Cow Palace. A standing ovation for the Golden State Warriors. They lead Washington by six points and two games to none. Casey Jones has just told the Bullets, go back inside, try to get some easy baskets. He also has alerted them to the fact that on the fast break, the defensive man is breaking down the floor after someone shoots. In other words, if Nick Weatherspoon takes a shot, his man is releasing immediately. We are set to go. Ray against Elvin Hayes. We'll jump it off. Unsell controls it for the Bullets. Gives to Kevin Porter. Elvin A sets up against Derek Dickey. Chenier puts a move, comes into the lane, and here is Kevin Porter. Porter inside, back to Chenier, the right side. That was good movement that time. It's, it's caused a little penetration by Porter. They got to get more of that. You know, as Coach Jones said, get inside. Get some fouls on him. Four-point Golden State lead as Beard gets it over toward the very side. Here is Rick coming in. Passes to Dickey, who's open. Great pass by Rick. Great pass. And a tremendous duck. Hey, they got it going now. Back to six. Ray is on Unsell. Unsell tries to get past him. Comes up jump shot. The battle for the boards. Taken out by Jeff Mullins. Mullins on the move for the Warriors with that high dribble. Now he hits Butch Beard. Beard at the board. Oh! It's an eight-point Warrior lead. Porter back against Beard. 
Porter fronting Hayes. Dickey is behind him. Porter now swings over towards the free throw line. Still Mullins missed the steal and Porter missed the shot. Battle underneath and Hayes was up over Derek Dickey. The ball is on Elvin Hayes, his fourth. I, I, think, I think that Kevin Porter right now is a little frustrated. You know, he's dribbling the ball around too much. He's the quarterback of the team. He should get balanced. Get out front and then set the plays up. They're down by eight. Taken away by Porter, who has come back with a strong defensive move. But then when they get on the offense, man, they got to stop dribbling so much to go to the basket like Casey Jones wants them to do in the, in the huddle over there. Six-point Warrior lead. Here is Beard slipping over toward the very side. No screen over there right now, so they come to Dickey. <laughs> oh, do it, Derek. From Cincinnati. Seems to me I've heard about that school before, oh. You know, they all can shoot up there. Here is Kevin Porter. Pulls up against Beard. Chenier goes to the basket. Mullins taps the ball. Stays with Washington. Jeff Mullins almost came away with a steal that time. It was a good play by Washington, but Mullins made a good defensive effort. Knocked it away. Eight-point Warrior lead. 9.58 for the game. Here's Porter back to Weatherspoon. Lay on the switch. Beard comes over. They double-team him on the wall all alone. Yeah, they're switching all over the place. Everybody's jumping out. Even Ray's jumping out on those guards. Guards on big men. That's it. Oh, no, Kevin. Now Not goes Porter. No foul. Here is Rick Barry. Passes off right side. Derek Dickey. Dickey has Unsell watching him in a situation. Beard has Porter posted and wanted it. They didn't go to him. Now it is Barry. Back to Clifford Ray. Goes to Rick Barry. Well, I'll tell you, they got to stay close to that man tonight. Now it's an eight-point lead. Back comes Porter, here's Weatherspoon. Hayes wants it, Dickey's all over him. Weatherspoon can't get at him, so he shoots it outside. Here comes Butch Beard. One shot for the bullets. Beard right down the middle, hits Rick Berry, past Dickey underneath. Yes, sir! Oh, look at it now. They are going wild in the game. They're going to get a out here. Rick Berry is playing super ball, Chris. He's not only making a great pass, Making a defensive play, and he's shooting the jump shot. Here he goes again, right in the dirt. Great play. Hey, we've got nine minutes and one second in game three, and the Warriors lead it by ten. All right, Chenier with the ball. They just threw it inbound. Chenier comes up firing. Taken down by George Johnson. You didn't miss a thing. Just the inbounds pass. Ten-point lead right now by Golden State. Here they come. 8.47 to go for the ball game. Beard holds it up. Chenier is on him. Here's George Johnson on the left side. Barry tries to pop yes! out to get around George. But here inside, Dickey again. Not this time, a Witherspoon clears it down. Now the Washington Bullets are under the biggest pressure they faced all year long. Kevin Porter over on the left baseline. Forced to dribble back out. Warriors switching. Porter drives. Up with George Johnson. Hold on. Goaltending counted. That's what Al Adams told George Johnson. You can't block everything. Well, Give him some of these shots. Would that have gone in? Oh. And I don't think it would have, but that's all right, George. They're thinking about you. There is Wood Beard working against the Washington pressure. Gets it up as Rick Berry helps out. Now it is Berry, right side. Unsell battles and pulls it down for Washington. Cross court, Kevin Porter will bring it down on the right side. Wood's become Elvin Hayes. Here's Chenier over on the right side with a shot. Hayes got it. Suddenly they are back to within six points. Wood Beard doubling across now. Rick Berry is floating over toward the right side with Witherspoon on him, and it's Jeff Mullins with that left corner. They're shooting some deep shots, and he got away with it. Yeah. Here is quarterback. You can't get him all back at once. you got to play good defense. Knocked away by Dickey from Elvin Hayes, and there was a foul call. Jeff Mullins was on Chenier. So that is one foul against each team here in the fourth quarter. An eight-point Warrior lead. Bullets for the basketball. 7.39 for the game. Here's Hayes. Passes off Witherspoon. Not there. Three yellow jerseys. Yeah, Bullets George pass Johnson. George Johnson. He hits it. Oh, no. Yeah. They are back to a ten-point lead. Now, Shadir brings it up on the left side. Leonard Robinson is going to check in. So is Clem Haskins for KC Jones. Wesley Unsell out to the top of the circle. Here's Hayes. Hayes against Dickey. Dickey ties him up. Now Hayes on the move. Now he goes up over Dickey. Can't hit it. And Dickey gets to the board. Jeff Mullins brings it up. They can go up by 12. 
Brown is put down. There. There's a Barry. He's got his shot. Yeah, yeah. I tell you. Look out, Washington. Here comes Florida I don't State. believe what's happened in this series. I tell you, that team is tougher than people think they are. Here is Nick Weatherspoon. Comes right straight up in the air. You know, Back but I to tell within you, 10. You talk about playing basketball. Everything that Washington seems to be doing right now all out one-on-one. -on -one. situation. Puts Barry to the hoop. Ball of the loss to the Warriors. Here, one with all the foul. Another situation could not, but the Warriors keep it in balls. Reminds him we've got to set up play in this situation. New 24. Dunk. Got new 24. Okay, Dr. Man. That'll foul in his team. All right, they get a new 24 seconds. Ball did hit the rim. for it recycles. Ball passes all right, now, to Rick Barry. New 24, Rick. Get back, Butch! Go through, go through! Whoa! Dickey does move, right straight up. Johnson came down and there was a foul and then Mullins was in there. But well, it's on George Johnson. I tell you, Brent, this team can really bring it to you. They're playing great basketball now. They get it up and down the court. When the player takes a shot, his man immediately takes off. It's a lot of pressure on the defense. And his four fouls on George Johnson. Triple team Hayes. And he's tied up. Elvin right. Hayes has got to turn around in that situation and dump it off. Whoa. This is too bad, but I tell you, you know what's happening also. Every time he gets the ball, three of his guys run right to him. Maybe he should bat it back like a volleyball game. Controls the tip, and here's Porter. He Works with Haskins. He's Robinson, he Hayes, and Unsell up front. Here is Porter now. Porter waits. Bounce pass on Sell. Has it knocked away, and here come the Warriors. Oh, they're picking and playing. Yes, sir. Everything's going great for Golden State. Mullins gives it to Butch Beard. Beard waits. Porter watches him. Beard wants to come into the middle of the lane area. Waits for Barry. Barry has Kevin Porter. Comes right up on him. He's off the mark. Air ball out of bounds. And when Wesley Onsell caught it, he stepped out of bounds. So the ball draws to Golden State. And Chenier is coming back into this game now. He's going out for a little rest there. I think it's what he really needed. But I'll tell you, this team of Washington needs something because Golden State is really playing Super Bowl. 5-39, Mullins, and at the basket, two more yellow shirts. Well, but there was offensive interference, no basket in that situation. It, it but looked, did you see those yellow shirts? Yeah, it looked good. Whether, whether, whether it counted or not, Brandon, it sure looked good to me. 5-33 for the game. Washington trailing by 10 points, the series by two games. Porter blocked George Johnson, buried down. He has Mullins ahead of him. Four on two, quick to Jeff. Uh, oh! On court to Porter, it's out of bounds. Ball goes over to Golden State. They lead it by 12 points. Yeah, and five hey, Brent, we have a four in a row. Hey, they're playing sloppy basketball now. You know they're down 12 now. Five minutes to go. Golden State playing super bad, real class basketball now. Here is Butch Beard. They're tearing apart what I thought was the best team in the NBA this year. George Johnson holds it and waits for Jeff Mullins. Mullins comes in behind Johnson. They work the weave, and Johnson gets it back, and there's Dickey inside. Everything is going They can't do anything wrong. You know, Brent, I tell you, they might have been the best team when you thought that, but not right now. I don't believe it. Do you believe this? Super effort by Golden State. Super effort. They're playing the tremendous basketball right now. They're playing defense good. They're going on the offense. They're playing breaking. They might even sell some hot dogs around here. 447 for the game. Introducing the newest idea in insurance, the insurance store. Now there's a store where you can buy homeowners, automobile, business, health, and every other kind of insurance. You can save on low prices, and you can choose from leading brands like Continental Insurance. Shop and save at the insurance store. For your nearest insurance store, just see the agent listing under Continental Insurance in the yellow pages. It is a moment of extreme frustration for KC Jones. He has yanked four of his regulars. Bill Shadir is there. Dennis Duval making his first appearance. Robinson, Kozelko, and Dick Gibbs up front. Unsell, Hayes, Reardon, Porter on the bench. 
Coach Adams told his players, keep moving the ball, keep the balance, and with two more hoops, we'll win this game. Move out on the bounce pass to Gibbs. Gibbs hands back to Leonard Robinson. They've got to hurry. They've got about two seconds. Kozelko gets it off, not there. Johnson takes it down. Gives yeah. it off to Barry. Clock ticking down. Moves to 420. 97 to 83. Washington is being embarrassed in this championship. Yes, they Beard are. Beard gives it to Rick Barry. Goes right back to Beard. Knocked away by Robinson. Whistle blows. George Johnson and Kozelko are battling for it. And it's against George Johnson, his fifth foul. That's a, that's a good fifth foul by George. He has really played a super game here. You know, I tell you, they got two real fine young pivot men, and he and Ray. Here's Tommy Kozelko working against Johnson. They give him room. Bill Chenier, the only regular out there for the bullets. Underneath on the turnaround, oh. gives Kozelko at the boards, battling. And there is a loose ball foul. That is against George Johnson. And that's it. And listen to the round of applause he'll get. It doesn't matter because guess who's coming in for him, Brent? Cliff Ray. Six one way and a half a dozen to others. Duvel comes back to Kozelko, who wheels to Chenier. Chenier hits Gibbs. Gibbs puts a move on Barry, loses control, but it was tapped by Barry. You know, the Washington team really looks dis disorganized right now. Uh, they got a lot of new men in the game, but they were disorganized with the veterans. And there goes their lone regular. Bill Chenier is out. Haskins is in. Duval puts a move on Mullins. Comes up fine. The rookie can't hit it. Another rookie, Robinson. Well, if the rookies are going to hustle like that, you might as well go with them. This is true. 12 points for Warriors lead. 335. Down they come. Beard, Barry, Mullins, Ray, Dickey. They got a lot of experience out there against a lot of youth right now. Out pops Rick Barry. Taking their time. Ray over with a screen and Barry goes the other way. And there was a foul. Foul is on Dick Gibbs. That's oh, first. Gibbs first foul. Second team foul. George Johnson fouled out. He scored 10 points. Pulled out nine rebounds. Barry to the basket on the miss. Not uh -huh. away. Washington and couldn't control it. It went out of Gibbs' hands, hit by Robinson. Even Jim further. Goes over to Rick Barry. Even more frustration in a situation like that. They had to rebound and knock it out themselves. Barry had an easy two and couldn't put it away. Warriors are three minutes and 18 seconds away from taking a stranglehold in this series. Beard with the basketball. Clement Haskins watches him. And Gracie is going to check in, the 12th man. Adams clears the bench. Beard pops it to Mullins. Mullins has it knocked away, gets it back from Robinson. Okay. Everything's working for them right now. Hold on, Jake O'Donnell. And you know, Steve Brace is getting ready to come into this ball game and he gets a break. 12th man on the team, doesn't say complain about anything whatsoever. I wouldn't complain either if I was going to get their share of the lot. <laughs> They may make a lot of money for you the way they're playing. Well, that's true, but everyone wants to play basketball, man. This is what they're out here for. No matter how much money you make, you still have pride in yourself and want to play, and I'm sure he wants to play as well. Well, we'll get a chance to see him. Yes, he will be out there. Two minutes and 55 seconds to go. A 14-point lead. Oscar, how do you explain what's happened to Washington? You know, I tell you, a lot of times, a lot of times in a lot of situations, a lot of years, teams peak too early. Maybe they did, but I tell you, this team from Golden State has been climbing steadily upward. A lot of these writers, I wonder where they are now. Guys who built this team up for the of the season. You know, I didn't think they'd be this tough myself. I think they had a good team because they had some good people on their bench. And they started lining up. But now, so the ejected bench. Anything they're going to say about this game, I tell you, Golden State still got it. They still got it. They're still moving forward with it, man. I don't. Doesn't seem to matter what Washington does. Golden State seems to take it away from them. Trainer Dick Dioleva is just signaling me from the Warrior bench. All day he's been telling me he has seen the number three when he closes his eyes. That's his lucky number. Well, he I promised me the Warriors would win this, and I said I'm not very superstitious. I got to believe Washington will bounce back. Well, I tell you. 
I think I think really that the Golden State guards themselves just really took them right out of the ball game. Barry, 37 points. Great basketball game. Great defense. Great passing. Hey, tremendous game by him. So Barry scored 36 Tuesday night, 37 here. This is Gibbs at the free throw line for Washington. And I tell you, he did it for the MVP, Brent. See, the MVP of this series still gets a car, right? Sport Magazine gives that away. I think they Who did. Who got that last year? Was that, it was Havlicek. Yes, John got it. Dickey throws it into Bush Beard. 2.53 to go. 12 point lead. All over the ball. Here is Boise, his first appearance in this series. Used to play for Atlanta, so did Beard, who gives it back to him. Boise holds it up. The 12th man gets a shot. Whistle. What's it? Push him out. Oh, it's on Haskins who was pushing him out. Third got a new 24. On the ball. You go through great. Go so low. they get a new 24. Get Here it okay. comes to Ray. Yeah, they're going to set it up. They have, they have, they're in no hurry right now. They got the game where they want it. Knocked out of bounds. Off of the Golden State player's hand. Here comes Washington. By 12 at 2:37, it's Dennis Duval and Clem Haskins bringing it up. Bounce pass to Gibbs, whips it to Leonard Robinson. Now it's a 10-point game at 2:22. Long pass, Wilkes to Dickey Robinson over there. Can't save it. Ball is out of bounds. He could he tried to give a good effort that time, but he just couldn't get a, get a good handle on it. I should say. Well, I tell you one thing. George Johnson really came in and done, did a super job in this basketball game. Fouled out. That's when you foul out a ball game. Foul out doing something constructive. There's Bracey working against Haskins. Ray is there with Kozelko. Here it comes around. Bracey wanted to make the good move. Lost control and Clifford Ray has it back and all alone is put there. Wow, well, they can't do anything wrong. Nothing goes wrong for them, Britt. They make a mistake and they score two points. This is true. Vic Cliff found man open on the beat underneath Butch Beard and he put it right in the basket. Oh yes. Sweet times out here on the, the Golden West. Duval on the right side for the bullets brings it down. Waits for someone to break free. Gracie knocks it away. Duval regains it and fires one outside. Dickey sweeps it down. Here's Butch Beard. Oh, it could be a mop up time. Gibbs has got a bad pass. Comes back for the bullets, gives it off to Duval. Duval got past Gracie. Shades of the YMCA going on right now. Well, what they're trying to do now, they don't have, they don't have anything real thing they're doing right now. They're trying to get it down and run the timeout because I tell you, this team. No matter who Coach Adams puts into the ball game, he does something positive. Yeah, everybody go out this way. Talk about a team that really pulled together. Stay together. Ropes across the timeline. Yeah, I'll call my over there. That's the fifth foul now. Assistant hey, coach Joe Roberts, no corners. Can't get locked you know, up there. You know, when Adam play, you know, we tell all the rookies. Try to get in the middle of the floor. Middle of the floor. If any physical started, don't grab him, please. Because we'll get no help. Jones can just look and wonder what went wrong. They were an overwhelming favorite when this series began last Sunday, and they are about to lose for the third straight time. Yeah, this is true, Vince. They are. They were a big favorite to win this uh, playoffs, but you don't play on paper. You play on the court. I think a lot of people fail to realize this. Oh, two-shot foul. You really think a lot of people fail to realize that, oh? I'm sure they, they realize it now. 
There's got to be some folks in Las Vegas wondering what's going on. They just left town. <laughs> Coach Bickerstaff is just down in Washington. You know, situations like this, you call plays, you try to prepare your players right, to follow a game plan, but sometimes it just doesn't happen. Round of applause for Derek Dickey, who goes over and is greeted by Rick Barry. Uh, since the alumni, I'll say that one more time. If you say it one more time, you won't have to give this year, oh. They won't be after you for a contribution. They're always after you, Brent. Well, they served you well. I served them well, too. <laughs> Robinson yanks it down. Here is Duval, cross court to Haskins. Bill Bridges, who checked in for Dickey, intercepted Leonard Robinson. Back to within nine with 110 to go. I think time's going to run out on him, though. There's Bracey. Almost lost control. Now he gets past Haskins. Yeah, they're going to run it out now. Here all along. Duval, the rookie from Syracuse, bringing it down for the bullets. Goes to the hoop with it. He'll go by Duval. Seven points in 47 seconds. Not enough time. No, it really isn't. Keith Damn Wilkes, it. the rookie of the year. Slammed by Gibbs, and down the floor goes Wilkes. Well, he's not, he looked like a hard foul, but he wasn't really hurt. No matter how hard you foul, when you get on that line and shoot those free throws, you recover real fast. are starting to come out on that movie Wilkes is in. Cornbread Earl and me and they're very favorable so far. They yes. say that this young man, Keith <laughs> Wilkes, did a fine job. This is Coach Al Adels looks on. Don't let him the penalty shot. shot coming up. Yeah, I know I saw that with you and I, I think it's for the first time he did a good job myself. And I'm not a movie critic. Don't let him Criticize a lot of other people. <laughs> <laughs> I never noticed that. <laughs> Intercepted Bush Beer. Knocked away by Robinson. Ball belongs to the Warriors. There'll be some explosion in the Cow Palace. Veteran Jeff Mullins looks on. Right next to him, George Johnson. Final 33 seconds. An incredible story in the NBA championship between Washington and Golden State. And not over yet. Game four Sunday. Bracey has it knocked away. Here come the Bullets. Gibbs goes to the basket, behind his back to Haskins. 22 seconds, Ray left open. Goes yeah, in. good, good call by Murphy. Murphy. Deliberate foul. He took it right up to the basket, smart play by Cliff. And I bet Cliff loves to give Dick Mott a call now, wouldn't he, Brent? Thank you. Speaking of being traded in Cliff Ray, what do you hear about Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? Is there a chance he's going to wind up with the Knicks? Well, Kareem still hasn't stirred up. He's got him thinking. Of stirring. Well, the latest reports is that he may go to New York with a three-way deal with Atlanta. Atlanta give up some of those draft choices they've got coming if they can close I'm, that, huh? I'm sure the Big Apple would like to get Kareem. Well, the draft is next Thursday in the NBA. Kozelko passes it to Gibbs. Down to the last 17 seconds. Gibbs hits outside. 109 to 101. It is an eight-point difference right now. And Wilkes brings it down. And Ray comes to the hoop. Knocked away. Tommy Kozelko can't retrieve it as the ball went out of bounds. We're down to five yes, seconds. We are We're going to have an explosion here in the Cow Palace. The fans are already on their feet, starting to cheer. Coming down around the border. Bridges outside off the front of the rim. Bridges again. That's hey, it. what about they this? Come. It's over. What about this? The Golden State Warriors have done it again. They have beaten the Washington Bullets for the third straight time. Yes, they have. They won the first game in Washington, and they came home, and they won two more. As they cut down the nets, and you see the final score. And don't forget, Sunday afternoon on CBS, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, Game 4, 
Golden State against Washington. The Warriors can wrap it up with a win. Yeah. And this is Brent Musburger for Oscar Robertson and Sonny Hill saying goodbye for the Cow Palace in San Francisco where the final score is Golden State 109, Washington 101. NBA Championship Series, sponsored by Ford and your local Ford dealer. The closer you look, the better we look. And by the Gusto Light, Slits, Milwaukee, and the world. NBA Championship Series is a presentation of CBS Sports.